Now one of the most interesting things about the shoguns of Japan is that although they ruled, they weren't actually rulers. These were warriors and they ended up running the country. So we have to take a look first at how in the world the emperors of Japan lost control of the country to these warriors. And the reason they lost control is that they did not provide an inspiring why. Warriors want to know why are we here? Why are we fighting? Why does this kingdom exist? And why should I potentially give my life for this kingdom? When rulers don't provide a powerful why, the warriors rise up and cause chaos. So as you rule your kingdom as the will, it's important that you always provide an inspiring why. And we're going to look at the events that led to these shoguns coming into power because there was not a powerful enough why. The first ingredient was flourishing wealth. During the early portion of the shogun period, there was a dramatic increase in the cultural wealth of Japan, the financial wealth of Japan, the technological wealth of Japan. There was all this rising wealth, which is a good thing unless you don't have a powerful why. So everybody's wheeling and dealing, everybody's making more money, and these military men were coming into power and getting more and more wealth, which allowed them to raise bigger and bigger armies, which in and of itself is not bad. However, there was a next thing that began to happen. Once there was more wealth in the country for these warlords, they started becoming more and more independent. This wealth allowed them to essentially build little kingdoms, massive structures. They owned lots of land, which again, it's not a bad thing. It's good to have wealth. It's good to have independence. But when you don't have a ruler over all these little kingdoms, providing an inspiring why. Why are we here? Why are we working together? If you don't have that kind of unification at the top, then wealth and independence becomes very dangerous. Because without that unifying why, all these warriors started fighting each other for power. And the emperor ended up being helpless. So as all these warlords would fight, displaying their defiance, the emperor ended up alone. He wasn't a powerful point of inspirational unification for the country. He was just alone. He was saying, I'm God, you should follow me, you should protect me. And the warriors were like, why? Why should we follow you? Why should we protect you? In fact, we're just gonna fight over the country and whoever wins, whoever's the strongest, and that's how warriors work, maybe that person should rule. And that is eventually what happened. So in your kingdom, be very careful as the ruler, never let your why get fuzzy. Never let your why fade away. Your why is what unifies the country. You are the why. And you must inspire your warriors to fight for you with a powerful why. You uphold, as the ruler, you uphold a meaningful why or your warriors will cast you down.